and welcome y'all to Black of the Berry. I am Dean. That over there is the Madman Los. He may have that legendary low shit, but the Madman Los. And down there, y'all know who. It, y'all listen. Y'all already know what time it is. It's bad times in the building. Shout out. Listen, no what up, gentlemen? How y'all feeling out here on this fine Monday? I mean, this is a special release for the guys out here for the for the fans. Um, and I guess it's we see we see we see how my guy BT all decked out. All ducked yeah, out, if you will. Right, right, right. All ducked out, yeah, if you will. Big, big vibes today. Big uh, duck vibes today. Uh, you, know, you know. So it. it must be a rare occasion because he normally wouldn't do that, right? Hey, must be. Nah, hey, he listen, definitely wouldn't do it. You might normal. catch me with some. Listen, you might catch me with some ducks, but we ain't never ducking. That's all I'm gonna say. Oh, okay. I hear that. Right. I respect right. it. There all we right. go. All right. Yo, yo, that was. Be... <laughs> listen, shout out. Gonna... I didn't do it. No, hey. Yo, it, 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 yo, it's him. This fucking guy. Man. I didn't say anything. I saw you. I saw you all ducked out. I, 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 you know, oh, as soon shit. as I said my little thing, he said, "Ah, oh. yeah." Because like, I hate corniness. You know, that's that's I'm, your epitome. Gonna, you know, I'm just gonna quit rap forever. Fuck it. Yeah, listen, I ain't tell you. <laughs> 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 all right, y'all. But listen here, people. So before I even get into any kind of my normal introduction or mm-hmm. you know, who we got coming on, I think I'm just gonna. You know, let the man's film speak for itself. Ain't that about oh, right? I think. I think. Let, ain't that? Ain't that what they say? Let us play. Do the talking. There we go. And we may have to do the thirty second pause because of the YouTube algorithm on certain shit. But here we go. And then since we got the thirty second pause, we can play this. Go ahead. You better hustle when that money low. Yeah, and hustle harder when it's all coming in now. It's Justin Herbert throwing to, to good old Spencer Webb. Ooh. For people who aren't familiar with what's going on over here. Yeah. Yeah. Big play, Spence. Herbert doing Herbert things. Motherfucking touchdown. Ooh, there we go. Hold on, hold on, because we gotta get we gotta get the pause for the goddamn algorithm. Did he just is he is my man Spence out here big dog in SEC? Auburn no. who? Auburn no, what? Yeah. On, on his who? goddamn head chop. Yeah. Get the fuck out of here. Hold yeah. on, we ain't done. Excuse me. <laughs> he ain't done. I want to shine so full of hope. I'm grinding every day. Oh, I'm grinding for all my little kind that grow. Low key, I don't need my show. Thank you. I don't really need the show. I'll live. Money, money, I'll money, live. Money, money, still Come on now. All kinds of hoes. Anyways, that's besides the goal. 250,000 times a fold. Let's go. Cut it up. Trying to make that stretch. My niggas got to bust it down. Approach. I want to play that S. I want to play that Jack. But how you spend it? You ain't make that shit. With no regard to the reason. I got to show my dog. I got to show my dog. I so because of this goddamn youtube algorithm but i think mm. we can kind of i think i think the people have gotten a feel mm. for exactly who we're bringing on here but just in case you don't know who the fuck we're bringing on here by now let me break it down like a, like a goddamn fraction we got mm-hmm. spencer webb coming out of goddamn sacramento california but mm-hmm. as you can I see can. he's He's playing for the Oregon Ducks. And guess what? This Wednesday, the Alamo Bowl going against Oklahoma. I think Spencer and the boys are going to have something to say. Hey, Los. What's up, dog? Do the applause, player. Spencer! Oh, my God, Spencer! I love you, dude. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> Shout out, player. Welcome to the show, man. How's it we going? It, What's going on, my guy? And definitely a lot of things that you know. Ben definitely wants to get into which is Spencer. Um, but I I we would be remiss. We gotta get we we definitely gotta get the big dog out of the room. Mm-hmm. Oklahoma this Wednesday, the Alamo Bowl. Yeah. What time is it out there? Like what's what's how has the preparation been? You know what I mean? I know obviously you can't give away too much, but what has been going on? What is the team's mindset right now? Uh you know, we are we recently had our coach uh take a job in Miami, so um yes. We we're all kind of up in the air. Was you know how the preparation was going to be? You know who's going to stay, who's going to go, and it's crazy. You know these this past week of practice was like the most energized, <clears throat> electric, you know, fun practice, like focused practices we've had the whole year. Right. Mm-hmm. And I think you know the you, the people that did stay, uh, we you know we we brought it upon ourselves to uh, make sure that we you know we're prepared because. The season ain't over for us, and you know we want to go out on a W, 
because we, you know, lost the Pac-12 championship and we weren't trying to go out like that. Mm-hmm. So yeah. one way or another, I'm going out with some confetti. <laughs> yeah, trying to eat that W. You know what I'm saying? What Jameis say? Trying to eat that W. You know what I'm saying? Hey, uh, uh, since you was touching up on the uh, the coach leaving subject, you know, uh, you know, he he got a lot of you know criticism for it. I see, yo, listen, you know, I be on Twitter, man, and 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 Twitter's talking crazy. They they're saying a lot, you know, they're saying. I'm not gonna sit here. You know what? Matter of fact, you were, you one of his, you know, one of his players. So I'm not gonna sit here and read verbatim what it says. But it's very dis- some of the things are very disrespectful. What yeah. would you say to some of those fans that are, you know, uh, being reactive in a, in a negative way? Uh, honestly, I think you know, me and Coach Chris Paul, we had a great relationship, and you know, I know I could still call him at any time. You know, he would answer the phone. He's just that type of guy. And when you know, I kind of started seeing stuff on media about him leaving. Um, deep down, I knew he was going to go. Um, you know, he went there. He played there. He's from there. Right. And, you know, I think that's just like a dream job. That like, you know, him. you know what I'm saying? And, yeah. and this, I think a lot of people don't realize, like, coaches, players, like, we're all chasing the same dream. You know what I'm saying? We're all trying to, you yeah. know, get to the next level, get to that next step in our life. And, um, people lose track of that. They think that, you know, sometimes they they try to make up loyalty for other people, which, like, you can't do that. You know what I'm saying? There's Facts. relationships we have, and I think Coach um, handled it the best he could. Uh, I think the media kind of made it, you know, worse what than it, it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And honestly, you know, with the with the new hire of Coach Lanning, um, you know, I told – I tweeted this out. I said, what if it turned out better than you could imagine? And – you know, some people were like, yeah, like, you know what I'm saying? There's a new generation of Oregon football that's coming up, and I think people should be more excited for that than worried about the past. Okay. Right. And, right. Uh, yeah, so, you know, I wish them the best. I wish Miami the best. Um, and, you know, the guys that I got on my team and my, the new coaches coming in, um, you know, we're rocking together and we're ready to roll. So uh, we'll see mm-hmm. how it goes, but I'm excited for real. It so, sounds like – So, Spence, I got to know, right? Oregon is the the king of the drip when it comes to yeah. football. What is the attire for the game coming up? What what is, what do you? I mean, I know you can't. You, you probably don't know yet, but what do you, you want to wear? I don't know what uh, jerseys we're wearing yet. I, th- I have a good idea. Mm. I think it's white because we're away. I just don't okay. know which ones. Right, but, right, there's so many, dude. So many. Yeah. yeah. So I, I don't know. I, like sometimes I like to, I don't know. I do I do weird stuff. I'll do stuff like I'll cover all my tattoos, you know, because uh-huh. it's business. You know what I'm right. saying? So you got to yeah, cover yeah, it's up a the business tattoos. Trip. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So yeah. I do all those things like that. Um, but honestly, I might have to go with. I just got a new tat on my leg. Finished uh-huh. my leg sleeve, so I might have to. I have so to rock the bit. leg sleeve off. Hey. Okay, okay, <laughs> I'm coming right up. No, nah, I, I mean, don't know. I, I, I'm feeling, I'm feeling right. It's like a, like a white silver. I feel, I'm, yeah, so, I'm feeling know. like real chromed out. Feel me? That's what I'm feeling. Yeah. Right now. yeah, I do have, I do have one question. Not to just to kind of go back a little bit, right? Because it sounds like you know, with you and maybe like the pulse of the team, that there's really kind of not no any hard feelings with you know Coach Cristobal, right? And like you know, that's that's kind of that's really wonderful to hear, but. What do you think about now with this new NIL, NIL transfer? Excuse me, not the NIL. Um, with the new transfer portal, yeah. right? How it era? <laughs> what is the post like? What is <laughs> Coach Thirty? <laughs> what is the effects of that? You know what I mean? Like you know, obviously you may not be able to get into too many specifics, but is there any a little bit of a feel that some people may follow Coach Crystal Ball? You know what I mean? I think uh, what a lot of you know college athletes don't realize when it comes to the portal is like that's a death trap you know what i'm saying there's you don't want to get lost in like that shuffle um if you know some players i I haven't heard anything but if some players do want to follow coach you know like they're gonna have to go start over uh, whether you know coach or not because there's players there that have like you know earned their stripes of course you know Mm -hmm. what i'm saying and you got to beat them out you got to start over again Mm -hmm. um you know i think too, like what I what I did when during my recruiting process was I love you know I obviously love Coach Cristobal and I love the staff we had, mm-hmm. but 
I also knew like this is a business and any given year this all could change. So like do I love the University of Oregon? You know what I'm saying? Do I love, mm-hmm. you know, the town, um, you know, the facility, the people in the facility, my teammates, because I know like if something changes, I still have that, you know what I'm saying, to do. And I think, you know, a lot of kids had that same process and right. they thought the same way. So, um, you know, I, I know, you know, so Michael Pittman's transferring. Um, he's in the portal. And I 100% respect his decision. He, he came out with the YouTube video kind of explaining why. And at first, I was kind of upset about it. Um, that's but, my you know, guy, man. I was pissed. Yeah. Not gonna lie. yeah, that's my brother, you know. So yeah. I, I wish everyone the best, whether you leave or not. Um, you know what I'm saying? Like, obviously, you're not on my team anymore. But, uh, of course, you know, like, we're all in this together. You know, we're all chasing the same dream. So, However, your avenue goes, it doesn't have to match up mine or it doesn't have to match up anyone else's. So, uh, yeah, I mean, I think I think the portal is great, but I think it's also just a death trap in a way. Michael Come Pittman, on. listen, for the record, listen, respect everything you did. I mess with you. I bang with your, with your game heavy. Listen, when we see you, we're going to kick your ass. <laughs> 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 he He won't say it, but I will. You're that's right. a fact. No, that's but a fact. I also feel like some players are like forced into the transfer portal. You know what I mean? Because they feel like they can't, they just can't get right where they like. They feel like the coach don't yeah. like them. They feel like there's a bad vibe already. You know, or yeah. maybe somebody got fired and then there's a new coach and they feel like the change of regime, they feel like they had to go. You know what I mean? Like, I, I mean, and sometimes yeah. it works out for them. I mean, look at Jalen Hurts. Think, shit worked beautiful for him. Yeah, I think yeah. if you're, you know, I, I ain't going to lie. There's times where I thought about transferring, but mm-hmm. like, for like, for some reason, I was just kind of just stuck to it. Like I was just like, you know what? I'm just gonna grind through this. I still got time. Like just take it one day at a time. Don't think too far ahead. Don't you know what I'm saying? Right. And and you know it's worked out for me and it's been working out for me. And uh, I don't know. I think if you just stick to the process of you know what you're doing, then it all work out. And you know some kids do have. They are forced to transfer. You know what I'm saying? Like. Mm-hmm. They might stay out of school and never play a snap, so they do have to go somewhere else. Mm-hmm. And that's the risk you have to take. But, um, I mean, it's college football. Like, you know what I'm saying? Power five at that. And it yeah. ain't, you know what I'm saying? It ain't easy. It ain't easy. It ain't, like, yeah. yeah. And not everybody <laughs> Y'all aren't makes normal it. people. You know what so. I'm saying? Not everybody makes it either. Like, there's a lot of stories where, you know, you just go to college and that was it, you know? Mm-hmm. Um, so that's why you got to get that degree. And one day you're going to have to hang up the cleats. That's a fact. Yeah. Actually, actually, yep. uh, Spence, <laughs> you know, you you've met my girl before. We've gone, we've gone to Oregon. You know, we yeah. hung out with you at Oregon. You know what I mean? Uh, she actually wanted to ask me. You know, she wanted me to ask you this question: What is your like plan if football doesn't work out, or if you know your plan after football? Uh oh! Shout out to Cat, by the way. Love you, baby. <laughs> if shout out! Didn't... <laughs> shout out to Cat. Uh, you know, I think about this all the time. I think I don't really have like a set plan, but I do know that like what I've learned through football and through college football and like school, I could always fall back on that, whether whatever avenue I want to take, you know what I'm saying? And like that same drive, the same, you know, lessons I've learned through it will be able to help me in the next chapter. Um, see, I don't try to get too far. You know, I have like, you know, commercial real estate would be cool real estate, you know what I'm saying? I think of stuff that would be, like, cool jobs or I'll write it down. Um, but, you know. But that's not the main I, focus right now. It's, it's yeah, not, you know what I'm what saying? You, what are you, ma- you majoring in? Uh, crime, law, and society. Okay. Interesting. Yeah. That's a, that's a, we can get into some conversation with that. But I kind of want to, I kind of want to ask you some, uh, some questions just about how, how y'all felt that this, obviously the season's not over. You know, Wednesday, you know, obviously y'all still have a lot of business to handle, but with everything that has gone on, y'all were, if I'm not mistaken, y'all are 10 and 3. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So how what's the and then uh, you know you lost the Pac 12 championship, but what's the what is what has been the pulse of the team? Like what is the what is like it you know, what is the what is the day to day for y'all? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like how was because I remember I was me and Los were fucking D3 athletes and it fucking was miserable. And we used to joke sometimes, like, imagine what the big boys who would get paid to do this are fucking going yeah. through. Like, what is that? 
Can you just kind of like explain that to the everyday person who's listening? Like, what is that like for y'all? Just like just a regular old day. Yeah. I mean, you know, I you. Think, <laughs> I think. But tied it into like you know how was that how was the team as well like the because obviously I, I, okay let me I guess that's that, that's on me for not you know giving you more of a narrow question, um. You're coming off of a Pac-12 championship. You're going into the Alamo Bowl. You got a new head coach. Like I know what you said earlier that you know you just like you know you just felt like you had like one of the greatest practices that you know you you you've you've had in a while, but. What is the post? What can we expect from y'all coming out of here on Wednesday? I guess that's what I want to get down to. What am I when I when I when I tune in and watch y'all go out there going against Oklahoma, you know, future? I'm pretty sure that they're, they're, they're going to be going to the SEC win two, three years or are they next year. I have no clue. Right. I don't know. I got to ask. I got to. Go they're looking to do it. I'm not sure if it's official yet, though. I know Texas is going in, but regardless. What is the what is the what is the ultimate pulse like? You know, what I mean, like, 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 what what can we expect from y'all? Can we expect what we've expected all season, or or are we going to get something totally, totally new and totally different? I think honestly, you're going to see a team that hasn't been the team you know that you've seen all season, um, whether it's you know depth wise, depth chart wise, but you're going to see. You're gonna see, kind of just like we're just gonna open it up, let it you know, let it fly. It's one more opportunity that we get, and you know, it's a big opportunity. This is the biggest bowl game outside of the uh, the New Year's Six bowls. You know what I'm saying? Mm, so absolutely. Um, and it's against Oklahoma, who's a powerhouse blue chip school. So, uh, you know, you got Oregon versus Oklahoma. Like everybody's gonna want to watch that game, oh, and especially right. with both both of our coaches leaving. Um, you know, we're excited for it too. And you know, yeah, I'm not gonna chip lie. On your shoulder? Do we? A little chip on your shoulder right now? Is it this yeah. is it, that's what I want to know? Like y'all are, yeah, are y'all gonna go in there with a little sure. bit of a fucking attitude? I think we're we gonna have prove, a little bit I of a like you know what prove a lot of people a lot of people wrong, like you showed them that we could ball with them goddamn Midwest boys, man. And you know what I'm saying? Like boys, we'll man. punch them in the mouth. That's what you're saying. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's time for football. Honestly. Okay. Yeah, I mean, not for nothing though. That's you can't been a say narrative. It. We can though. say it for you. Okay. It's good. Okay. Yeah. It's That's been be, a narrative, you know. I think it's gonna be a, an exciting game, and I think it's gonna be like a breath of fresh air for a lot of people. Mm. Mm. I'm excited to see what I've always like. I've always watched Oklahoma from afar. I almost went there. That was my backup school. Like that's where mm. I was gonna go if I didn't go to Oregon. And I'm just trying to see like what they're talking about. <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> they they got some they got some history. I mean, talking, just as much man. as as much as Oregon got some history, Oklahoma got some history. So yeah, uh, it's, it's gonna it's gonna be pretty. It ain't about it's history. Nice, it's about the current. Nice class. So I understand that, but I'm saying to his point. But I'm saying it, regardless of that, they, they still have the prestige. So which makes it a, a yeah. marquee matchup. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. True. So since since y'all uh, y'all coaching switched up, like I know that the, you know the interim coaches. I mean, not the interim coaches. Like the, st- the staff is still there and everything. Yeah. But like, have they adjusted the lineups? Have they like started implementing maybe a different play call style, anything like that? Uh, see that stuff I can't really discuss. Uh, just so you know, we have to well, ask. I, we respect you. We have yeah, to ask. You know, you know, know what I'm saying. I had to try my hand. We got to try my hand. You know, the playbook know is kept secret, BC. <laughs> you you know. can't be out here asking what coverages they run, baby. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you Maybe we'll be moving the line a little bit. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's gonna he's be. Like, so you know, what's, what's, he's like, so what are your audibles lined up for for uh, for Adam? <laughs> what, do you, what do you got lined up? What are your first? What are your first twenty five? What, what do you got? Yeah, uh, I think. So. I mean, you're gonna have to wait and find out. You're gonna have to see for Respectful. yourself. Yeah. All right, fine. We can even do a recap episode too. Hey, 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 hey Bob's. I can, I can let you guys that. know exactly. Listen, what win, win or lose though, I'll hold you that. Win or lose though. Yeah. All right, man. Okay. Let's do it. Let's okay. Do it. Let's do it. Let's but do it. but if y'all lose, I'm but, cutting everybody ass. I'm cutting everybody. <laughs> nah, we ain't gonna manifest that. We ain't gonna manifest that. We ain't gonna that. We ain't fuck that. Fuck that. What I what I expect is for fucking the Oregon Ducks to go out there and do what they got to do. I've never fucking liked Oklahoma personally. I don't know why. Fuck Oklahoma! I never liked them too because they, they like you know I'm a, I'm an SEC fan and these these, these I am a quick. Trent Williams fan though Trent Williams is a Fake. dog he was a dog in college but regardless yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying <laughs> like, but um 
Now let's let's let's, let's kind of get into you a little bit, Spence. So, you know, obviously coming out of college, you know, in, in California, you were the you were the number six tight end ranked, right? Yeah. So, yeah, out of high school, um, had a ton of. How was the what was the recruiting process like? And I and there are some questions I know I can't ask you now because you're a current player, but when you get in the league, um, I can't wait to uh hopefully have another conversation with you about different kind of mm-hmm. things in in in, in, in 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 regards to college recruitment. But what was it like <laughs> going? <laughs> I'm just you know to what I'm <laughs> <laughs> we respect you, you know we respect you, we know what time it is, but yeah. I just want to know. How do we get to Oregon? Like, you know, what was it like going to those different schools? And like, you know, how did you land here? Uh, shoot, my recruiting process was crazy, honestly. It was fun. It was, uh, you know, I, I got my first offer when I was a sophomore in high school. Uh, Sacramento mm-hmm. State, the home team, offered me. I didn't even believe it for real. I was, I had to call the coach the next day and ask him if he was being for real because mm-hmm. I didn't believe it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay. Then, but why you know, not though? Why? Why not I believe it? Yeah, I mean, shoot. You were bowling out of high school. Why wouldn't you? Why? I've been it's dreaming. Surreal, get, I've been dreaming of going playing college football my whole life, and then for it to finally like here, like you get to go for free. I was like, what? I <laughs> like you. I didn't. You know, what I'm saying I was still young too, and then like, uh, like the recruiting process for me just like disappeared. Like there was nobody hit me up. Like it was like, all right, well, guess I'm gonna be a hornet. Like I had, you know, what I'm saying nothing, and then. uh I remember one day I was at lunch in uh, Hawaii. I get a Hawaii number. Call it That's me. fire. University of Hawaii offered me. I was in the library. I'll never forget it. My boys were standing there. We were all on speaker. I was on speaker, and he's like, "It was a uh, what was his name? It was a receivers coach." Uh, I forgot his name. Hawaii receivers he... coach. It's cool. Shout out to him. Yeah. <laughs> so they offered me. Uh, they offered me, and then boom, Wyoming offers me. And then, like, I started getting Ivy League schools. And then, like, right. kind of like these, you know, just. Feeling like the man. He was like, yeah, chill, chill, chill. Chill, <laughs> yeah. Like, homie, whoa, whoa. Amen, whoa, whoa, whoa. Go to, so, I mean, then I got, like, did you go to, like, got, any. Uh, Howard. Did you go to, like, any ABC. camps? Or, like, oh, my bad. Hold on. Oh, hold on. Howard? Hold on, Ben. Hold on, Ben. Exactly. Hold on, Ben. So. <laughs> you could have been a bison. <laughs> yeah. Could have been a bison. That would have been crazy. <laughs> You imagine Spencer throwing up the hooks. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> My man, we're not about it. Yo, listen, Spencer got the bar. The chocolate bunny, you know what I mean? He, he didn't, listen, hey. he just snagged up a little queen up there. Down there. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? He would have to fade. He would have to fade. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nah, they didn't have him look sharp. They didn't have him super sharp. <laughs> But yeah, what, you know, matter of fact, what hair do you got now? Because I, I don't see you. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, yeah, my bad, my bad. We, I'm on, about to start on. cutting your ass. My bad. Yeah, yeah, hold my on, bad. hold on. So <laughs> I want to know how many of those schools did you actually visit and what was the different philosophies behind it? Because all this is going to so, set up us to be getting into some other stuff later. Uh, we got to. So yeah, what was did, the philosophy? Yeah. Uh huh. I went to, I visited Boise State. I like Boise State. I fucked with Boise How was that State. with that blue turf? Yeah, I used to love turf. Boise State. It is dope. Up. I ain't gonna lie. Boise State was the town too. Is just sick. I loved it. Well, but okay. I wanted to go Power Five. And What's then that? Uh, I visited Oregon State. And then so okay, this is actually a crazy story. So I have like Oregon. I ain't have none of these big schools yet, right? But Oregon State hit me up. Was like, hey, come to the Junior Day. And Corvallis is only forty minutes away. So my brother, uh, my brother, I lived with my brother at the time. He uh, was like, let's drive up there. Like, let's go to the, the junior day. So we pull up. They offer me. And we were staying in Eugene because it was closer to California. So we just thought, you know what I'm saying, we'll just stay in Eugene, blah, blah, blah. Um, and we're on our way back. He's like, let's pull up to the uh, to the facility, the Oregon facility. I was like, all right. Like, we'll just go check it out. You know, you know, kid can dream. You know what I'm saying? Of course. And so pull up. And then end up running into two of my coaches, my current coaches, uh, Coach Neuer and Coach Gilbertson. Shout and the out. G- the GAs uh, at the time, one, Coach Neuer is now our DFO, Director of Football Operations. But uh, and shout out to Coach Gilbertson. He just got uh, a job. Um, I can't. I don't think I could tell people yet, but he just got a job. So happy for him. Anyway, so him, but but he will be there Wednesday for y'all. Yeah. So shout out to him. I. Uh, they showed me the facility, blah, blah, 
and two days later, I'm going into my zero period of weights. I get a call from the office coordinator, Marcus Arroyo. He's like, what's up, Spence, blah, blah, blah. He's like, we want to offer you, uh, you know, full ride scholarship, come to Oregon, blah, blah, blah. And it was the craziest moment because I was with my brother. He was dropping oh. me off. And it's like six in the morning. It's like dark still. And me, and I, you know, my brother, we, me and my brother have been close my whole life. You know, he's 15 years older than me. And we always, you know, we grew up Oregon fans. Like, I've always been an Oregon fan my whole life. And I always, like, I would wake up on Saturday mornings and turn on the TV and watch, you know, Marcus Mariota, DeAnthony Thomas, those guys, right? right? And so, like, that was, like, my dream, dream school. And they just offered me. And I remember just sitting there, like, holy shit. And I looked at my brother was like, no way. Like, no way that this, no way that just happened. Yeah. And That's so, amazing, was, right was when it... that happened, I knew, I was like, I'm going to go there. Like, mm. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to stick yeah, out yeah, this yeah, process yeah, yeah. to see. And then, like, UCLA hits me up, Chip Kelly. So I'm like, oh, mm. shit, Chip Kelly, you know, from My when, family. Family. You know, uh, you, yo, did you see how he no, that's, 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 that's Brian Chip Kelly. That's Brian Kelly. That's Brian Kelly. I'm sorry. Chip My bad. My bad. My bad. Chip was, Kelly I'm is, sorry. like, the coach was, that made Oregon. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yes, yes, yes. The original. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he's at UCLA. So I'm like, damn, like. Said maybe he brought that Oregon with him to UCLA. You know, like they like come down here for a he official visit. <laughs> <laughs> he did not. He absolutely. Listen, I love you, Chip. You're my guy. No, <laughs> I, was, I just said maybe. Was I didn't yeah, say he no, did. Yeah, I said maybe. <laughs> so I pull up, and honestly, I was like, I'm not gonna go to UCLA, but shit, I'm gonna go to Westwood for free. Go check it out. Go party. Go right. have fun. See what it's like. Uh, and then Oklahoma, Lincoln Riley hits me up. And mm. I'm like, oh, shit. I think he just took the USC job, didn't he? Yeah. Yeah, uh-huh. so, man. It's about to get weird over there, man. Crazy. Yeah. So then I'm like, damn, like, I got these crazy schools, crazy offenses, you know, like, shit. And then Taggart was the head coach at Oregon at the time. So I was committed – or I was committed to Taggart because I committed, like, before all this had happened. So I was committed to Oregon. Then Jimbo Fisher, Texas a and when he was there, hits me up. I think he's still there. I don't know. He hits me up, offers me, boom. So then I got, like, these big schools, and I didn't know what to do. And then Taggart leaves. It goes to Florida State. And I was like, oh, shit. Like, I don't know who the coach is going to be at Oregon. Like, I wanted to go to Oregon. Um, then they bring in Cristobal. And I end up signing there. But I think – did he try it's to establish weird. a relationship with you? I'm sorry to cut you off, but I just want to know, like, yeah, how was that process? So obviously, he leaves. Crystal Ball comes in. What happened? The Crystal Ball immediately reached out to everyone committed and was kind of like, "We fuck with you. We don't fuck with you." But it was even like, fuck all that. How was his relationship with you in that beginning stage? It was like right before the first signing day. Taggart left the first mm-hmm. signing period, and so I was like the only tight end in the top 300 that didn't sign. So, because I wasn't sure, like, I hadn't even taken my official visit there yet. I visited Oregon, but I haven't took my OV like, with the new right. staff and stuff, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, yeah, like, he just, you know what I'm saying, he he's a great recruiter. Um, mm. And we built that relationship quick, and I trusted him, and I took my visit. And once I took that official visit, I knew, like, all right, this is where I'm going to go. Uh, but it was weird, like, I look, now I look back on it, like, I look, I don't wish I went anywhere else. Like, I don't wish, you know what I'm saying? And it's weird, like, right. now, you know, it's crazy. If I went to Oklahoma, Lincoln Riley's gone, so I would have went through the same thing. Yeah. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Facts. I feel like Chip Kelly's about to leave, too. Like, there's, mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Domino <laughs> effect. Domino there's, effect. Yeah, so it's crazy how stuff all works out. But um, the recruiting process was... It got tiring at the end because, like, I just – you get hit up. Like, I didn't care about a lot of schools and coaches. But, uh, you know, I was being respectful and hearing what they had to say. But it was fun. I had fun with it. Um, I would have had just, fun. Yeah, it <laughs> was. Because well, college is now it, – it's, it's – I just want to know. Uh, 
I just want to know if the Jesus Shuttlesworth movie was real. That's it. If he got game, what happened on his recruiting trip was I'm real. I'm sure he can't answer that. I know. Yeah, I'm not talking about wait. you. You don't got to answer that. I'm sure he can't answer that. You don't got to answer that. I just wonder for, you know. Big state. For wonder's sake. Yeah, for wonder's sake. You know <laughs> what I mean? Listen. The listen, big state, the big state uh, recruitment trip. <laughs> let, me, let me tell you something. This interview is just setting the groundwork because eventually what's going to happen is one day Spencer's going to go ahead and get drafted. And then by the time that he's getting drafted, we're going to be doing some pretty cool fucking shit. So the next time we're able to fucking like <laughs> besides the reaction, when we can collaborate and ask him some true questions. Yeah, it'll be interesting. You um, know what I mean? But yeah. just to obviously, you know, do everything, protect the brand, because, you know, the NFL is going to be on, up his ass about everything, even though. Los and I have been cleared by Disney to interview people at yes. one point in time. Yes. So if we were able to make the Disney cut, Spencer, I think we got you, buddy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I think you're we got good. you. You're in good hands, Spencer. <laughs> you know good what I'm saying, this, this, is, we, this is what I say. If, if the, if the mouse messes with us, well, you good. The mouse said it was okay. <laughs> Literally. You have no idea. The college football is – it ain't just 22 kids playing football on the field. No. <laughs> hey, so this it's a business. So Listen, much, can we it's a can we get into that? Let's yeah, talk yeah, about it. Like, why why are there so many? Now? But why are there so many coaches getting paid and they haven't proven to actually be true winners? Let's get into it. If we're gonna talk about it, Let's it's you got millions and millions name. of dollars being name. thrown. And what happened? It's the name. Yeah. I get it, but fucking you haven't proven to do a goddamn thing. It's the same thing when a team drafts. True, I guess. You know what I'm saying? Like, you're giving this kid money for potential. So they're Mm -hmm. giving a coach potential. If your potential is higher because of your name, they're going to give you more money. Spencer, Spencer, this is no disrespect. Hold on. on. I'm about to to shut the fuck up. But no disrespect. I am a a Penn State fan. We just re-signed our coach for a lot of money. And guess what? (laughs) He hasn't done shit! (laughs) Who's it, James Franklin? James Franklin? (laughs) Shit, Spence! What's going on? So uh, I listen, I hear what you're saying, player. But come yeah. on, son. Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, th- 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 come on, son. I, I, don't have, uh, I don't have those quarrels. Fuck you. Fuck you and Bam. <laughs> we, we locked up on this side. Saban, nigga. Saban ain't going nowhere. Uh, whatever. <laughs> Saban, we ain't talking Saban about ain't going nowhere. Saban, Saban's got college football by the throat. Yeah, listen, he's, not listen, <laughs> he's not going anywhere. He's not going anywhere. You know what I'm saying? It's just like another day, another year for him. Literally, that, <laughs> uh, I have a question. So, how does that you and you obviously, you know, active, you know, right now, obviously playing when when you're looking at the power rankings, and then so obviously we see a team like Cincinnati has gotten into the top four. Shout out to Cincinnati, right? <laughs> no, fuck them. Say it. Say yeah, I gotta it. have some respect oh, for my boys, man. They no. good. They're good. They're good. But yeah, like... go ahead. But don't. <laughs> but don't we need that in the mean, SEC dominant even... time? Don't we though? I haven't even watched like one of their games <laughs> at all, to be completely honest. And I'm I'm really surprised and I'm very, 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 very interested to see what happens. Cause I think it's either gonna go we one all or two know ways. What's gonna happen. Yeah. But... It's gonna go one of two ways. <laughs> They're gonna get the dog shit beat out of them. And then it's gonna be like, okay, this is what everyone already knew, right? Or somehow they pull some out. Like I think it's either they get the dog shit bit out of them, or they win the natty. That's like my two That'd opinions. Be crazy. <laughs> Bro, can t- you imagine? T- t- oh, oh yeah, we got a bet going on. Uh, Lo- mm. Lowe's got a bet going on. Uh, if since mm. he loses, he's gonna like dance to the fight song and shit. With a the- I'll do it. Hold on, hold on. But here's the here's the thing though, because I'll do it. it's not like, happening though. And, and the only reason I said shout out to Cincy is because we. You do need that team outside of the SEC to break into that top four because everyone continues to have yeah. the same kind of argument in regards to that. But what I'm stating is that, like, is is who do you who do you think should be in the top four? Obviously, give us give us your top four. I think I mean who is fit? Notre Dame. I don't know about another thing. My family. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that that's nigga accent bad. switched up real fast. Yeah, it was Go bad. Tigers. I'm like, what? Go Tigers. <laughs> yo, yo, who was that recruit he was like dancing that. with? Who was that fucking recruit? Uh, <laughs> the quarterback. And then he tweets out, oh, that's my court. Excuse me. That's my coach. You shouldn't say that, young man. Fucking <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> uh, you shouldn't say that, young man. 
I think I, I don't know. I think the top four is legit. Okay. I just want to see Cincy play. I just want to see him we play. Don't, yeah. We don't know what's going to happen. You already said it. Listen, Man, listen. It's the, gonna get I, I, expect, I expect the final to look like the Monstars versus the Toon Stars third quarter. <laughs> <laughs> Bad, that's, what I, that's what I expect. But you also like. got to realize something, too. Like, those, like, it's not like those athletes are that far off. From, no. Like, I think the only thing is size would be the biggest difference, especially with the SEC. And coaching. It co- yeah, but like, there's young coaches, like the you know what I'm saying. There's coaches out there that are at these schools that like are going to be the next you know big time head coaches at schools. Yeah, and like they got that scheme, they got that you know hunger and drive, and shit. I think you know there's not. I'm not saying that it's impossible that they go out there, they scheme them up. You know what I'm saying, and. Those Cincy players have nothing to lose. Like, if they lose, they lose to you. Their know offense man. sucks. <laughs> Let's say what it is. They fucking suck. Their defense is fire. Yo, listen, their punter is the fucking man, but their offense fucking sucks. You listen, I understand, <laughs> Spencer. You want to be the professional. Shout out to you. I respect you for that. <laughs> but they fucking suck. The defense can't do the whole game. It can't happen. <laughs> And we yeah. got back-to-back Heisman winners, baby. I'm a Giants fan. <laughs> I know when niggas suck. Oh, my God. A decade Dude, of it. <laughs> oh, my Sorry. God. I hope, Spencer, I hope if you ever get drafted to the Giants that Joe Judge is the Messiah that fucking the Mara family thinks he is. I hope. But if he's not, I hope and I pray that you don't come to the land of failure. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure he'd be happy to be on any team. <laughs> yeah, I don't care. Oh no, I know he don't care, and I know he has to say that. But I'm just telling him, as a fan, I wouldn't <laughs> want to see a potential wasted. Go ahead and flourish, young man. Flourish, because these niggas don't know what they're doing over here in the Giants. This but back on the college, <laughs> definitely come, definitely come hey. on down to Baltimore. Hey, I, I, I got a <laughs> shout uh, out to Baltimore, right? I, I, I got a question. That's, right, good in there, buddy. <laughs> Hey, I got a question. Yeah, I'm sorry. Go ahead, Bad Time. I got a question that's a little change of speed. Um, Actually, my nephew, uh, he asked me to ask you this, too. So uh, what were, like, some of your biggest, like, highs and lows playing over, like, the four years of Oregon? And, like, you know, how did you cope, like, with it? And, like, you know, how did you learn, you know, how how did you learn, like, lean on – oh, sorry. Did you lean more on your family and friends at home? Or did you, like, lean more on, like, your, like, teammates and, like, coaches? You know what I mean? I think uh, it's let's crazy. start off with a let's start with a high first. A high, you know, like we went to Rose Bowl mm. and we won. Good. Like that was a you know what I'm saying I was a significant you know part of that team. And uh, I'm talking about even personal, even personal highs and lows. I mean, the highest high I ever had was that Auburn catch, but okay. Yeah, yeah. We can talk about that. That, that, that. How did that uh, boost the clout? Shoot, man. That's <laughs> actually a crazy story, too. Uh, so, going through fall camp, I'm like the fourth string tight end. Like, I was getting no PT. But I was young. You know, I was a redshirt freshman. I was like, right. it is what it is. Boom. Well, you have like five wide receivers get hurt. Like, out of nowhere. And it's a week before the Auburn game. They're like, Spence, you got to switch to receiver. Just like you got to back up Jalen Red. I was like, all right, cool. (laughs) Yeah, I don't give a fuck. Let's do it. And I'm more comfortable out there in space. You know what I'm saying? Like, I was young. I wasn't as developed in the blocking game yet. So I was like, all right, let's do it. So I learned learned the shit, sort of, like as much as I could. (laughs) Right. I remember, so we get to Texas uh, that night. We get there on it. We get there two days early. Go through this stuff, boom. We go through our fast Friday. That night, I'm sitting in the hotel, and I remember sitting there, and I was just daydreaming, like, about making a play. Like, you know what I'm saying? Just literally just laying there, staring at the wall, just, like, thinking about making some crazy catch. And, yeah, so the next day comes. We get into the game, right? Well, <laughs> fucking uh, Jalen Red goes down with body cramps. Mm. <laughs> so my wide, time receiver, my, wide, my wide receiver's coach, I'll never forget it. He like <laughs> does like a quadruple take, like look at me. Like he didn't want to <laughs> <in. laughs> 
<laughs> oh man! And I'm looking at He's him like, like I don't know if I can trust him. I'm like, Coach, I don't even know if I want to go in. To be honest, <laughs> like, and we kind of look at each other. He's like, All right, Spence, go get it. I was like, oh, Sis, I get out there, dude. First of all, there's like 110,000 people in there. Like, right. we're an AT and T. Pack. What does that fit? What is that? What is what is going through your body at this time? The like, energy is adrenaline. You like you're so you like lock in like right because you're just you know like it's just that emotion that feeling that's behind. How it. loud is it? Loud like <laughs> just just fucking white noise. <laughs> I got you. Can you can you even hear the snap count? Uh, <laughs> Ohio <laughs> State. I couldn't. Damn. Mm. Okay. Respect, <laughs> I, I couldn't respect. even hear myself talk in my head. It was weird. <laughs> um, yeah, so anyways, I go out there, boom. We run like a little – I ran like a little play. I'd have to chip uh, – I think it was – I don't know if it was Derek Brown or Big Cat someone, and I hit him. And I feel like I hit like a brick wall. <laughs> like these D – that D-line was like one of the best D-lines in like college football. Yeah. Like they were right. huge. And mm-hmm. I hit him. I'm like, okay, whatever, cool. Go through a couple plays, drive ends, go back out there, and I'll never forget it. So they call uh, they call King Kong. That was like one of our plays, and I thought it was Godzilla. Like I just had a brain fart. So I'm in it. Mm-hmm. So it's like a four. We have four wide receivers to like the open field, mm-hmm. and I'm supposed to block for Travis Dye. It's like a screen pass, but we have King Kong, which is a pump off of it where they fake the screen and then you know what I'm saying go mm-hmm. so snaps the ball and I'm just literally just chasing after this DB trying to block him and he's just backpedaling <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like why is he backpedaling I'm like oh shit like different play <laughs> so I keep running and all I see is I turn back around all I see is just this big ass arm just come out of this D line and oh I'm in and his ball is literally just like Phew. I was like, I've made this play a hundred times in my life. Like, let me do it again. And I come up, it. boom, catch it. And he's like right there. And I grabbed by his throat. It just threw him down. And I just looked at him and just stepped over him. You, you ain't say nothing? You didn't have to. He mossed yeah, him and right? mossed him to the ground nice. and stepped over him. You you did, like, you mossed him. You shack pushed him to the ground after he dunked on a dude. And then, and then, you, and then you stepped just, over him. Oh, you did, yeah, like, yeah. three different – that's, like, I would have been on watch after that. Spencer's, yeah. like, six, six. <laughs> Spencer's not a small man. He's, like, six, I would have been on watch for that shit. Yeah. That's a small man. So, after that, I hit my little McGregor walk out of it. <laughs> yeah. Of and, course. Uh, I remember, like – Literally, my whole just life flashing before my eyes. It was weird. Like I had like a like mm. a, like a a moment in like where I was like I really felt like alive. It was crazy. Like right, right, right. Like it was drug. wild. What did your you, yo? You felt godly did, with that ball in your hand at the end. Yeah, though, right? you felt mm-hmm. like like a uh, like a like a it's a like, warrior shit, man. That's why that I was like for, football so much. Like it's like a supreme warrior. Right. Like you felt like yeah. some like <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's like that ultimate. Like it's like that ultimate like. <laughs> dopamine rush it was like the craziest yeah. thing like you it was weird and i remember travis Dot comes up and headbutts me and i like flash <laughs> back in and i like turn isaiah crocker who's like my boy from high school we went to school together we we're like a package deal out of high school uh comes up to me he's like bro you realize what the fuck you just did <laughs> and i was like nah not really like i caught a touchdown he was like nah bro he's like wait till you see the replay and I looked up, I'm looking up at this big screen, right? This thing's huge. And I can't see it. Like, I couldn't find, like, they didn't replay it. Like, they replayed it, but I didn't see it. Right. So, we go in at halftime, and I, like, go to check my phone, and my phone's just dead. <laughs> and I'm like, I could have swore at, like, 70%. Like, <laughs> she blew up. Year. Blew up that. Yeah. <laughs> so, I'm like, I'm like, all right, bet. So, I, <clears throat> I put my phone on the charger. And uh, go out for the rest of the game. We end up losing. And I walk back in, and I just sit down. I grab my phone. You know when you, like, turn on your phone, you open it up, and you get all the notifications? Yeah. Uh-huh. I was getting notifications for five minutes straight. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Jesus. Damn. Like, it was, bro, it was crazy. And then, like, I had text messages, like, bro, you're on House of Highlights. Like, you're on Sports Center, Like, all this, like, overtime, all these different people were posting me. Um. 
and like it just blew up and like to this day like people you know a lot of people obviously talk about that catch i get tagged in it like almost every day um from pages <laughs> and stuff but um I think, like, it's one of those plays that we kind of live on in college football history forever because, like, the AI step over and, like, mm-hmm. uh, just that game itself was a crazy game. Uh, but people it's all, NFT you know, for somebody. Yeah. yeah. I always I always ask people, like, where were you? You know, like, what was, the, what was the moment when you first saw it? You know, people always tell me, like, oh, I was, you know, at my buddy's house or I was at the bar or whatever. Um, Bro, if I'm not mistaken, that was, like, the first game – you like got in at like two catch a pass, right? Yeah, and that was like the first, first catch, your first catch and your first touchdown, right? That was my first. Okay, catch, yeah. So now listen, like I said, me and you go back for a while, bro. I said, oh shit, Spencer's on TV. Let me fucking record it. So, bro, this is the first time I'm seeing you play, <laughs> fucking recording you, and you fucking score a bar, bro. I fucking threw my phone. I'm going nuts, bro. I was like, ah. <laughs> <laughs> bro, that Shout shit was like a times. dream come true, bro. Wait, what were you like? You. What? What was you like? All right. <laughs> oh my god, yo, can we really digress and talk about a funny story, Los, in yeah. Miami? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> all right, all right. I got, it. I got. I got it. catfish. <laughs> so we we're all in Miami. We're hanging out, right? We're um, you know, BT BT was performing at some strip club, whatever. So we're hanging out the next day and we're we're on like the strip. So we're eating whatever. And then we see like this giant dude, like this giant dude. I'm like, yo, he has to play for the Dolphins or something. Like he's just too big just to be a normal civilian. <laughs> so, <laughs> so BT, he's like, yo, that's that's Deion Jordan. I'm like, no, it's not. <laughs> like, no, it's not. He goes, I know, because you know, he's the he's the 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 residential uh, organ fan, so I'm like, all right. I mean, he might. It, I mean, it could be. So I guess the Dolphins are playing, um, the Patriots that night. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. and he was on the team. So he, you know, so so BT goes, yo, can I get a picture with you? Can I get a picture with you? This guy? <laughs> yeah. No, it wasn't him. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It was. It was. No, I thought it was him. But it, but it was him. not him at all. <laughs> so you have to take a bro, picture with a random dude? He was a random dude. Yo, he's bro, a random you. dude. And then <laughs> after he goes, hey, kill it tonight. <laughs> bro, I threw up the O. Bro, I threw up the O. I'm over here smiling ear to ear. Like, this is the first nice. time I ever met an Oregon player. So I'm hyped, bro. I'm like, uh, you really, bro? I'm fanning out, bro. <laughs> Jesus Christ. And, I, and then you what threw it off to me is because I was like, wait a minute. Bro, and he rolled along with it. That's the worst no, part. No, no, no. The thing that threw it off is that the woman he was with. I'm like, Deion Jordan could bag a way better girl than this. <laughs> I, was like, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know. He's a pro baller. I don't know. In Miami, he could get anybody. He walk around with her. Nah. He didn't have to settle then, for that. And then what gave it away was. He was walking. <laughs> like, I know, like, you know, I know. Stevie you know, J never, was never, walking? I know. You're never too big to be a celebrity or whatever. But in Miami, like, you're walking down the strip, and, and he we went pretty unnoticed until Ben saw him. So, like, the fact that nobody noticed who he was, is a little, I was a little, I don't know. It's pretty yeah. funny, though. Whatever, man. Funny. Fuck it. Whatever. But anyway, can, yo, uh, let's touch on uh, some of the lows, because we never got into that. Lowe's, Lowe's point. Like college, I said, when I broke my collarbone, yeah. how yeah. was that recovery? Yeah. Oh my god, that shit hurts so bad. Ugh. How'd you break Pretty it? Pretty much. So it was like October twentieth. I'll never forget it. Fall camp. I to start our season. COVID season. Mm. And like I'm balling this fall. Like doing well. Doing very well. I catch like a dig route, like a 10 yard dig. Go across the middle, I get tripped by the safety, tag it off. And I literally had the ball in my left hand and I just tripped him, just bounced off my shoulder. And I just, I remember just hearing it. You could just hear it just crunch, just. And I'm like, oh, hell no, I did not just do that. And I've never broke a bone like that, like snapped a bone, you know? And I'm like, oh, that was weird. Like, and my hand, my hand, my arm was stuck, like, under me. And so, like, my teammates were, like, yelling at me to get up because they thought I just, like, 
got hit the junk because my head was down there. And I right, right, face right. first. Mm. And I'm literally just like, I just broke my collarbone. I just broke my collarbone. My teammates are trying to pick me up. And I'm like, dude, no, like I'm fucked up. Like, Ugh. so I come over and blah, blah. And I'm, <laughs> they roll me over. And uh, Doc pretty much just touches my shoulder. He's like, yep, you broke it. He's like, mm-hmm. we'll get an x-ray, though, see how bad it is. So we go, but we'll get x-rays. Fucking broken, like we already knew. And then the recovery, they were like, do you want to get surgery? Or like, it was like, there was this big-ass conversation if I get surgery or not. Because when I broke it, so, like, your collarbone is, like, straight. You know what I'm saying? Like that. Yep. Maybe, like, a little bit of a curve. Well, I, like, broke it, like, up. But it, like, stayed. Like, the bottom of oh. it was still together. Oh. So, okay, like, it was, you. like. It was like bent. splintered. Yeah, and then like it just kind of broke like that. And they were like, if you get surgery, uh, you might be able to play in like the Pac-12 championship. And I was like, all right. And uh, they're like, or you could just let it heal naturally. You don't have to go through cutting yourself open, you know, put the plate on it. So I was like, fuck it. I'm just not going to get surgery. Like, I'm just going to take the L. But that was, like, the biggest low because, like, I've had football my whole life. You know, it's always been there for me. It's always been kind of my escape. And for for the first time in my life, it was just gone. And, like, you know what I'm saying? I, You know, I'm sitting there in bed, sitting up, trying to sleep, you know what I'm saying, with a sling on, you know. You can't yeah. even cough. You can't do nothing. Trying to put on a shirt is just a hassle. And, mm-hmm. um you know, I dealt with that, and then crazy thing is, I played the Pac-12 championship with a broken collarbone. Wow, that's crazy! Nice. Shout out to you, fucking yeah. tough. Reaching uh, out for that I, thing. Oh, was it? God. Yeah, I'm about to say. Was uh, do you do you when you were hurt? Like, did do you think that since you weren't playing and like, you know, you weren't like I said, your face wasn't being or not your face, but your number wasn't being seen every Saturday and everything. Do you think that affected like some of your personal relationships with people, like? And do you think maybe that attributed to your lows? Yeah, I think it affected my confidence more than anything. Okay. Um, you know, when you, you just kind of, you kind of, I feel like when you get hurt, you kind of get like forgotten about. Mm-hmm. And like, that's not like necessarily, a, you know, anybody's fault. It's just more of like you, you have to heal, you know what I'm saying? And you're not really around people. You're not practicing. You're not on film, you know what I'm saying? So uh, that was hard for me because I'm still like, was trying to work my way up. Um, mm-hmm. Okay. But I think that was probably one of the, it was obvious, it was, you know, it was a low for me, lowest low of college so far, but I think it was probably one of the best things that ever happened to me because it really made me, you know, re fall in love with the game again. It okay. made me, you know what I'm saying? It's like, it's like when you get, you know, you date the girl and you start, you know, get tired of it and then y'all break up you're like damn i really love her you know what i'm saying <laughs> um ain't it though happen yeah, yeah. <laughs> i got yeah, a question so, for you um go ahead uh so <clears throat> i mean obviously you're playing with uh with herbert last last couple of years you go to see him doing so well um and you know this year and last couple of years is part of you feel like you know, because you play with him and you play with some other guys that made it to the league, is that like boost your confidence and helping your preparation and feel like you belong in that next level? Uh, yeah, I mean, definitely. I think, um, you know, it's also good to have those relationships. You know, I think that's, I think your own process through college is your own thing. You know what I'm saying? Like playing with someone that's in the NFL ain't gonna really, you know, make you feel like you can. It's really like, can you make yourself feel like you can? Like, what are you right. going to do to make yourself feel like that? Um, and, you know, just playing, like, playing with Justin and Panay and those guys, like, it's great. Like, you look and you see Justin, you know, it's fourth quarter. You know, we need a game winner. And you just look at Justin like, all right, it's, like, it's our leader. Like, you let's do. Go. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Right. And, like, it, it boosts your confidence. And uh, I think, you know, Tom Brady's like that, too. Like, he, those type of players, like, the they put, like, a – a confidence in people that like is you know what I'm saying it's hard to find and it's hard yeah, to find. Yeah, he's like by. just run the route, the ball gonna beat it. Listen, listen. 
Justin Herbert is balling right now. Like their Ball. fucking head coach. Listen, their head coach lost that game for them. You know, you know their last game, but we won't even get into that. But shout out to yeah. fucking Justin Herbert out there killing it for the Chargers. Yeah. But um, listen, man, we we appreciate your time. We know that you got a busy week coming up. Excuse me, you got to you know. Yeah. Wait, I got one more question before up. we go. I got. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. We I don't think we Spence. You got time. I yeah, got, one I got more. that else for the rest of the day. Oh, oh so we get we can okay. talk. But listen, man, I just want on more of a more of a lighter tone. How fucking strong is that mascot, man? Because when y'all oh. score touchdowns, he's over there doing push-ups. How is this a walk-on in a in a mascot? <laughs> so how strong is this man? Is the initiation? <laughs> there's like a bunch of people. They like use different people for like they, different. Oh, they rotate like every yeah, quarter. Yeah, they got a rotation. They're like bring in the big guy. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because I remember one time Oregon had like 70, 70 points. I'm like, damn, this guy's been doing touchdowns. You know what I mean? I feel yeah. bad for this guy, motherfucker. Ready. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it ain't four push-ups by any means. You, you gotta watch some push-ups. It's very just right. throwing the head down. But hey, yo, yeah. whoa, pause. What was that? You know, all right, hold on, hold on. I got a. I have a question. I have a Do question. That again? I think uh, <laughs> I can't benefit of the doubt. <laughs> listen, listen. I have a question. We're got you know. I I I think that this can this conversation can now steer into a little crazy around, but. We see that down at Jacks, you know, you know, down with um, you know, with Deion Sanders and the Deion Sanders and the boys, right? Yeah. He brought in, I forgot the shorty he brought in to warn Brittany Rayner. He brought in Brittany Rayner to warn them about uh, yeah. the hoes and the sleazy wags that are out here. <laughs> Did do y'all have any kind of training in regards to that of being able to understand that y'all are you, you literally your potential like your your, your potential value is multi-millionaires and there are definitely women out there who are trying to suck on like succubus so how are you out here navigating this yeah i think it's more it's not necessarily training we get it's more lessons you learn <laughs> <laughs> there's only uh, been a few teammates who are asked so you're like you 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 fell in love with the fucking the, the team john this bitch was fucking doing terrible <laughs> oh, things man. in the middle of the o and you're gonna say you love her you're a fucking yeah, idiot. yeah i got uh, you I think it's funny too, like when like freshmen come in with girlfriends from high school, oh, and yeah. they're like, "Oh, I love her, blah blah." I'm like, give it a month. Different shit up here. Yeah, I have a girlfriend, so I don't really, you know, I've had a girlfriend for about a year now, so I, I really, uh, don't, you know, dabble right. in any of that. But oh. uh, it's, you know. You get some DMs. There's girls that don't really, they just don't give a fuck, like, at all. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And there's girls that, you know, chase the blue checks. Uh, mm. There's, you know what I'm saying? And uh, you just got to, that's just, I feel like that's just growing up, too. It don't matter who you are. I feel like you're going to have to deal with that no matter what. Especially, you know what I'm saying? It doesn't matter. You just got to learn how to navigate through it. Um, but yeah. definitely, you know what I'm saying? Just. You gotta be able to see through that though, because yeah, you know, because it's a, that's, that's the problem. Is, it, yeah. You know, some people they come up to you and they're like, "Oh, they think that you know it's genuine," and real life they're coming out to their pockets. What you gotta do yeah. is sift through that from jump and be like, "Ah." You look have, like, have you ever had any shorties make you feel that way? Maybe feel what well, like that. like like that she that like they you knew what type of time it was they <laughs> fuck with you for your status. Yeah, I I've had like uh, like girls come up to me. LA bars and stuff, and you know right off the bat what their intentions are because either one you knew them a while ago and she ain't give you no run, right? <laughs> and uh-huh. now she's like, "Oh, how you been?" Blah blah. blah. Oh my like, god, <laughs> I bet you, you after doing? that Auburn game, after that Auburn game, <laughs> shit was looking crazy for the yeah. young man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, ho- yeah, yeah. <laughs> chill, 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 yeah. chill. But no, yeah, but we're, it's a, you know what's funny is we were talking about that today in the locker room, uh, me and Ty Thompson, because we were talking about the end of the game, Justin threw a Hail Mary, and I literally was standing at the back of the end zone, and it flew out of bounds over me, and I was like, if I caught that, like, I would have went back to Oregon. <laughs> <laughs> I'm too sexy for my shirt. Hey, I would have. That would have. Man, that's funny. Hey, uh, you can't yo, even get into it. Yo, play, hey, yeah, hey. hey, yo, playing for Oregon, like, I know you know, like, you got shouted out by a couple people, but, like, you know, what are the, some of the names that, like, 
you know, has passed through maybe Eugene or just passed through maybe your DMs or like anything that maybe had you like starstruck, like, yo, really, this guy's hitting me up? Uh, or, or girl? I think one that was pretty crazy. I actually became like boys. Uh, I don't really get I think there's one person. In the world. I actually, there's two people. And one of them I have had it, like a run in with. Okay. But the one thing that was pretty cool is destroying video. Yeah. Uh, me and destroying mm-hmm. became buddies. He came out here. Uh, we shot a video. I don't know if you guys know who destroying is. Yeah. I so, with yeah. Yeah. So we was out here kicking it. We went out, hung out, made the video. Uh, I remember when I saw him, I was like, bro, like, I like I ain't the type of you know to be you know starstruck or nothing. But like right. I used to watch your videos yeah. all through high school, bro. Like you know what I'm saying? And like it's just dope to finally meet you in person and. Uh, like we still we still talk. I'm about to send him. I got him a jersey, uh, oh, with his Shout last out. name on it, or with his de- with destroy on it, Oregon right. jersey. So, uh, yeah. Then another one was when Mozzie followed me. I'm a huge mm, Mozzie fan. Yeah, that's Word. You, put me, you can't. You low key put Word. me. On. Low hey, key. I'm okay. a huge Mozzie fan. Like, okay. As when he followed me, I was like, ah, whew, I was like, I'm the shit now. Like, yeah, Mozzie follows you. <laughs> yeah. Man, right, right, right. Uh, yeah, he followed me because I posted this picture and I had like black cleats on with black tape. Mm-hmm. And I said, uh, what's it called? Black Air Force Activities. And I tagged him in it. <laughs> and he followed me. And then uh, another one too, like I Am Sue followed okay, me. That's dope. I fucked uh, with Susie. Shit. Definitely uh, West Coast vibes. Yeah. Uh, I, you know, Sue Surf? Yeah, yeah, definitely. I know Sue the, Surf is. I, I chopped it up with Sue Surf because he has that one track called uh, "Killing Me" mm-hmm. or "What If." Those two songs, I just sent it to him. Just out, just like on some board shit. It was just like, "Hey, I fuck with these." And he, you know, he's got music with Mozzie too. Right. And right. he was telling what, me like buttons. about yeah, uh, what he went through. Um, you know, when he got shot and stuff, and mm-hmm. like that's when that whole album kind of came out after that. <clears throat> uh, that was pretty cool too. Because that's I actually pretty it. funny because uh, he's battling tonight. <laughs> oh, oh really? Yeah. 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 So there's a lot of that. shit happening tonight. Yeah, we go catch you that got, later. Yeah. You got that tonight. You got the fucking Patriots and you got the Colts way to give it up, y'all. The, you also got the fight tonight. There's a lot of shit going on. Yeah, that's right. Way, what up. Pre- way to give up the way to give up the continuity, you fucking dickheads. Previously recorded. <laughs> Coming out on Monday. <laughs> BTU was brought fun. to you by a live studio audience. <laughs> <laughs> another surprise, surprise. <laughs> another person that this is just, just like, I feel like this is just bragging. Like you could just brag about this, but Phil Knight, really? Wow, big bad. Yeah, it don't get no, it don't get no hey, bigger than that. I see, yeah. I see, Uncle that Phil, I see, Uncle, like, I, I'm like, what's up? <laughs> like, he's just sitting in the locker room, just chilling with us. Like the other day, Tika Hatfield came into the team meeting and presented our uh, Jordan Eights, the ones that they just dropped, mm-hmm. right? The and the Stock X did the deal with. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, so like Tinker Hatfield, you know, he's just chilling right there. Like, bro, you like, you realize who you are, bro? <laughs> like, <laughs> how many people's lives you changed? Uh, Facts. Shit's crazy. Yeah, yeah man. so like, I, know, I think be... Phil Knight is just like, that's what that's. Yeah, <laughs> you know, hey, I gotta... this. I'd walk up to him and be like, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Yeah. I gotta, I gotta address something about all uh, that destroying video, bro. Listen, What's man. Up? Listen, Spence, you my guy. Mm-hmm. Why the fuck was you wearing that tight ass shirt and them tight ass Richard Simmons fucking shorts, man? In the rain, what the fuck? <laughs> what, what? That's a that's a that's a that's a that's a that's a technical bad fiddler. I I gotta I gotta address them. I got the people want to honestly, know. bro. People want to know. That's my weight room shirt, and like I don't even know whose it was. We have all the shirts mixed around. So listen, what, what you was wearing? Jay, <laughs> you was wearing Jalen Red shorts. <laughs> nah, those are my Nike shorts. Those are like those are like when I'm trying to show off the leg sleeve shorts. You mm. know what I'm saying? Oh, mm. oh okay. okay. But I did yeah, have yeah. some crispy. I did have some crispy uh, G Fazos on. So nah, I seen them. I yeah, seen them. You can't hate on that. <laughs> you can't hate on them. For the record, ah! New York New York started the trend. Y'all just, you know what I mean? Y'all caught on. So yeah. hold on. So I gotta I gotta get into it now, especially with the NILs going on. You uh, know yeah. how is yeah how is that shaping up for you? Like what is the <clears throat> Like obviously you may not be getting a certain conversations, but is there anything on the horizon? Can we, you know, can you give us some breaking news possibly? Are you? Uh, so we got on? the whole uh, division street through Nike. Uh, they dropped the Jordan eights. 
So they gave mm-hmm. us the Jordan Ace. Uh, it's got the it's the first Jordan uh, P. It has a black duck on it. Um, so that was yeah. So Tinker told us a story about how when he was in college, he uh, he was on the track team, and then the players asked his teammates uh, asked him to make like some drawing, and he drew like a white duck and a black duck like going through the finish line. And that's where he came up with the idea for the Jordan Ace. Mm. And he mm. said with everything going on, you know, in the world right now and, you know, right. uh, Black Lives Matter and stuff, he wanted to like, you know, do something for that. And so he dropped that, which was sick as fuck. Right. Um, and so Stock X, they made a deal with Stock X where they they took a they made a hundred extras and they put them up for bid. So like we're sitting in the locker room, right? So they get they're splitting all the money between the team, a hundred of us. That's fire. And so, like, you get, you know, you're, t- but there's motherfuckers that are dropping 120 bands on these shoes, bro. Like, you see the bid. And we're like, see the locker room going crazy. Um, yeah, so that's, we, we're about to get paid for that here pretty soon. I can't wait because mm-hmm. I'm trying to get some Christmas presents for people. But <laughs> <laughs> my, pockets is, my pockets is really freaking shallow right now. So, yeah, I need um, that deal. <laughs> and then, like, other than that, like, just because that was through Oregon, um, I did that. But I always, since this whole thing came out, I told myself um, I wasn't going to do any, like, brands or, like, anything like that. Like, the only thing I was going to do is that my boys have brands. Um, and, like, people I know, like, my, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? They got, like, this is my boy's clothing brand right here. Mm-hmm. And, like, that's the only NIL deal I'll do just so I can put my boys on instead of, you know what I'm saying, these big-ass brands that, People, you know, nobody knows. Can you plug? Can you plug the brand, please? This one, yeah, yeah. yeah for my friends, get it. for my friends. Okay, where can, uh, where can the people get it from? Go to my Instagram and yeah, you can find you just it. Type in, type in, uh, for my friends on Instagram. It should pop up. You see this logo? Okay. And then Perfect. my boy, yeah. yeah, my boy, uh, Isaac is the official um, TikTok star. Rapper, uh, he he has a brand called Million Dollar Dreams, and uh, we uh, did a thing with that too. So yeah, so literally just putting on this right here. Yep, right there. So right here for the people. Fine. Now, the white ones are cold. The white sweatsuit is cold. That is okay. pretty fun. <laughs> <That is pretty fine. laughs> I might have to grab me one of them things. Pause. And then if you go to Million Dollar Dreams, type in uh, if, uh, yeah, just put million, and it should put just Million Dollar Dreams. It should pop up. Million or billion? Million. Okay. These folks. Nah. nah. But uh, is he official? Izzy Y. Yeah, right there. Yo, and, he got a blue check now. Good for him, man. I remember yeah. when. I remember when he, he was be, coming he up. He should be tagged somewhere in there, or you could go to his following. But those shirts and stuff, right there. Right, right, right. Oh, there we go. Yeah, here's the website right here. Boom. Solid. Oh, Yo, shout out to Izzy, man. He's doing his thing, bro. I remember yeah, when he was freaking before the blue check, before he even had followers. Yeah. Shit, I remember when. You know what I mean? Both of y'all before y'all blue checks, man. Good Listen, for y'all. Got to keep the hustle going. That's what this whole yeah. thing is about, right? Yeah. So there we go. Shout out to so people. So that's, that's the whole NIL for me, honestly. Like, I, I ain't really, I ain't, you know, I ain't cave on Thibodeau out here signing with freaking Nike. And shit. <laughs> yeah. Respect hey, I, it. I could put my boys on and help their brand out and get them, you know, some, some how, looks how from other you, people. How do you feel uh, about possibly, well, not possibly, how do you feel that you're about to be back into the the NCAA franchise? You're gonna be like the first, you know, people hey, yeah, back. Oh yeah, oh, yo, uh, y'all get paid for that. Good. Obviously, I got to get paid for that too, right? Yeah. What do you What do you think your overall is gonna be? Oh, that's an important question. It's gonna and be 100 percent spectacular catch. I know that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Only did that bad. I respect it. So, uh, so you, I, if I had you, to make a guess, it'd probably be like 72. What do you think it should be? A hundred. He has to say that. He's got to play. Eighty-four. Eighty-four. That, listen, that is pinpoint right there. He didn't. He didn't go for the big number. 
Eighty four is a solid player. Yeah, I can see He's that. You made solid. a lot of yo. Listen, man, you made a lot. I of think fun. I think I haven't. You know what I'm saying? I had I made a lot of plays. I got hurt too, and then this year I just blocked. The offense, yeah, I'm about to say y'all <laughs> offense. I'm, listen, shout out to Coach Chris. Now, what's more, love what you did. Respect. Pistol was not it. Offense this year was not it. But you underutilized your talent. I, I will say this though. That's actually that's going to be a really important tool for you in your tool belt, the blocking. You know what I mean? Especially like you know when you get to the next level and things like that. So yeah. you know what's detriment today ain't, ain't ain't too bad tomorrow, I guess. Right? Yeah. So, it's a blessing in disguise. Honestly, I got really good at blocking. So do you like blocking? Yeah. Nobody likes blocking, but yeah. Go nah, watch it now. I, <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> I do like blocking. I'm not gonna lie. Like it's it's really rewarding when you like block someone. Fuck Are you supposed up. to? And you see Travis die burst through, like yeah. I mean that's yeah. true. I mean, yeah, oh, yeah. to win at the end of the game, you know. No, yeah, definitely. I mean, like you know, we do it because we have to. Yeah. Um. Do you? How do you? Oh, yo. So listen, I, we've had personal talks. You know my feelings on 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 the man you just mentioned. Uh listen, I'm here to tell you, you die. You shut me up. You you fucking killed it this season. I. Uh, you know what I mean. You definitely had fumbleitis. The past few years, but you killed it, bro. You definitely killed it. Uh Travis died. He 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 killed it, bro. Real talk. Uh, but I was gonna say, how much how do you feel? Uh do you think that you would have ran more if Verdell didn't get hurt? Because, like, I mean, you just were kind of le- leaning on on um on die through the season for the most part. Yeah, I mean, I think that's a pretty obvious answer, bro. It's crazy, bro. <laughs> yeah, I would have been. Yo, it was the, the 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 run pass ratio was crazy this season, bro. Well, it's, yeah, man. Yo, it's I gotta think. be. I know I ain't here to yo, I know. My bad. It's like but, it's I don't know, it's hard to explain. Like there's a lot more shit that goes into it than just, you know what I'm saying? Y'all had a good y'all got the old line for it though. That's the thing though. It's the the thing is like I, I can understand. Don't be like, a couch coach, BT. Don't be a couch coach. Mm. <laughs> Damn, bro. I'm just a, I'm just a fan, bro. Just a big nah, fan. nah. I respect that. I respect fans' opinions, but I do try to tell them like, <laughs> it shit ain't just you know what I'm saying X and O's and tic tac toes. Like that's a fact. There's a Ooh. lot of situations. There's a lot of uh, analytics. You know there's a reason for yeah, there's so much shit going on. Like it, it ain't, it ain't Anthony Brown's fault. It ain't. Oh, I don't think it's anyone. Fault. It's not anyone. I think fault. it's all y'all's fault. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, I think all it's right. all y'all for all y'all. You know what I mean? We ain't gonna talk yeah. about it anyway. Hey, I, I see you. I know you got your hometown tatted on you. You know what I mean? I know you talk about your hometown a lot. You shout your boys out. Listen, we just shared. You know your homies from back home. You just shared all their shit. Uh, so can you tell the people what your hometown means to you? Yeah. So I actually uh, was born in Sacramento. I grew up in uh, Dixie, California. It's like this little country town, like right outside Sacramento. Ain't shit there. It's like five stoplights. Uh, that's like where all my family is. Right. In the eighth grade, I moved back to Sac. Uh, I think, you know, Sacramento, uh, Dixie's always going to be Dixie. It's just like, you know, safe place, home. You know what I'm saying? It's just kind of... Uh, not much going on, but you always see people you know and you love and appreciate. I think Sacramento, I think, in my opinion, Sacramento is the underdog city of California. I mm-hmm. think um, I think there's a lot of politics going on there with, you know, just that, that stuff I don't really, I'm not involved with. And I think, you know, at some point, I hope, you know, everyone from Sacramento can really just, you know, come together on some stuff like, you know what I'm saying? Um, Cause I grew up with, you know, I went to high school with kids that are beefing with kids. We sat in the same classroom, and you know, with and yeah. it's just, you know, what I'm saying, just shit like that. But Sacramento, oh, yeah. hey, I ha- dear Sacramento, I hate you, and I love you again. You a Kings fan? I mean, Hell no, nah, I got beef with De'Aaron Fox. Oh. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> not like real beef. Can, oh, like, what, is it? what is it then? What is it then? What what what's going on? Can you get into it? What's your problem? Uh, with you? It's a long story, but just it's a pretty much uh when so my ex girlfriend uh, when I met her, she was like talking to him. So yeah. I was like, yeah, whatever. 
took her from him. Whatever. Oh, and then he like made like this little this little Snapchat account. It was like trying to hit her up, blah blah blah. So I hit him up. I'm like, what's up, bro? Like, why are you doing this? Like, you being weird, bro. Like, you in the NBA, bro. Like, go out, go go find yourself like a supermodel or something. Like, yeah, yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? And mm-hmm. then uh, he screenshots it and posts it on a story. And like, I was trying to be real cool about it at first. Like, I wasn't, you know what I'm saying? Trying to do all that. And then, uh, then he, uh, what's it called? Screenshots it. People were like clowning me, making fun of me, like, oh, damn, Fox, like, fuck your girl, all this, right? So I'm like, all right, bet. So then we break up, and she, I guess, starts talking to him again, whatever. Uh, like, I don't, like, I'm like the last person to be tripping off anything like that. So right, 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 I didn't right. really care. I was like, cool, whatever. She hits me up. He's like, he said, like, he said it, some, he's going to expose me and all this. And I was like, so I hit him up. I'm like, hey, bro, like, look. Like, nah, I'm mad, bro. Like, you're being weird. Like, uh-huh. why are you doing this? He's like, that's not even my Snapchat account, all this. Like, trying to duck it. Like, I was like, bro, like, you're out here Pull threatening. Pulling KD on you? Okay. <laughs> I was like, bro, you out here, like, threatening girls, bro. Like, you're in the NBA. Like, you know what I'm saying? Kids look up to you, bro. Like, quit being weird. Like, threat? Like, Jesus. Yeah, he was like, I'm going to expose you. Like, I'm going to, like, all this shit. Like, literally, try, like, uh, what's it called? What he was gonna like post videos and she oh that's corny story like yeah. revenge porn you know what I'm saying corny. and then like corny. he was just like threatening her yeah. and shit and so I'm like so we kind of get into it and he starts like you know like when someone knows they're in the wrong and they just like oh you're a clown you're a clown like you know what I'm saying they just keep saying that just like putting laughing faces and shit thinking it's a joke so finally I'm like look bro like when I see you bro you better hope you got one of your centers with you or something because like <laughs> <laughs> hey. Hey, I was like, honestly, I can't really get into it. But yeah, hey, let's set up this. Hey, bad. listen, let's set up this amateur fade, man. We can, we can yeah, do it. No, no, no. Listen, no, we, no, we can do it for the people. Like we can no, do it for the no. Oh, charity, make a charity event. Match. Call a charity, oh, charity okay. box event. Yeah, that? yeah, yeah. yeah charity box event for, for Sacramento. I'm, realistically, yeah. that could, that could be. Yeah. Okay, yeah. we'll tag them for BTV. Fuck it. Big fan. Oh, <laughs> uh, well, listen, I, I want to stay in the positive. I want to stay in the positive light, though. Uh, so, listen, you you big hometown, you know, football, everyone's from around, you know, football, people get to come to these schools from around the country. They rep their hometown heavy. You know what I mean? And you know one thing, yeah, every, you know, college athlete that travels away experiences is homesickness. So, like, how does a kid, like, like this is, me, this is, you know, you speaking to the kids, basically, you know, the kids that are listening. How does a kid, you know, who was very strong roots to like their hometown oh. deal with like homesickness and like their first time leaving home? Like, what did you do? What are some things that like you did? How, who did you like? You know, with? honestly, growing up, uh, both my parents kind of dipped out on me. So I, I live with my aunt and then I li- moved from her house with my brother and I got kicked out of my brother's house. And so I didn't have a home really. So I was mm. just kind of like couch hopping, staying at my uncle's and stuff on the couch, just. Uh, I couldn't wait to get to college. Like, I wanted to get the fuck out of there. And, uh, okay. So, like, now when I go home, like, I stay with my high school quarterback, like, on his couch. Mm. Uh, you know what I'm saying? So, like, I don't really have a homesickness. Like, I, I more miss, like, I more miss, like, the views of, like, you know, driving, you know, out, you know, outside of Sacramento, looking at the city, uh, going places, going to get food. It's not really people or anything that I really miss. Okay. You know, I know that they're there. Um, but I think, you know, I think one thing that a lot of people that come from, like, you know, Sacramento, like, them cities where I feel like a lot of people kind of get trapped into them, uh, I think it's a lot of cities, a lot of big cities and with kids that, you know, come up in, like, hard situations and stuff. Uh, I think the best thing lot- that could ever happen to you is to get out of where you're from. Oh, yeah. I you know, yeah, see the a- world. It's a, it's, like, a, it's a big crab in a bucket mentality. Yeah, that's that a, shit ain't going nowhere. You, I, I was going to I was face of the earth. I was going to ask you now uh, for the kids, you know, what are some things you have done to combat like the people that try to bring you down? Like, you know, I mean, I, I listen, I know you got beef with De'Aaron Fox. You got beef with people probably at home. So, you know, <laughs> what are some what are some things that you do to like stay away or avoid that? Cuz you know beef brings nothing but trouble. So, what are things you do to avoid that? Honestly, 
just think about the consequences. Uh, you know what I'm saying? I've been in a couple situations I can't really speak on, but I've been in situations where I got very lucky. Um, but I think, you know, just sometimes you got to hold them punches. You got to, you know, be the bigger person and just walk away. Um, ain't nothing really good is going to come out of it. You know what I'm saying? You're going to do something and then you're going to think back, like, why did I do that? Like, that was so stupid. It was mm-hmm. over nothing. Um, so just, just think kinda, before you act. And I think that that goes for everybody in life. You know what I'm saying? Just kind of make sure you think before you act. But but I don't, I don't think there's going to be any thinking or acting. Excuse me. Excuse me. There's going to be some thinking. Uh, ain't going to be no acting, but there's going to be some problems getting solved this Wednesday at mm-hmm. the Alamo Bowl. So y'all make sure y'all go ahead and tune in. It better sound uh, like a car crash in the Oh, thing. it's going to sound like a car crash. It's going to sound like a bunch uh, of steel plates slamming together. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Listen, listen, listen. listen. <laughs> This is the beginning I want to hit of a legacies. Thud. This is the beginning of legacies being cemented for certain people. These mm-hmm. are certain people going to continue their legacy, and you can bet your fucking bottom dollar Spencer Webb is going to be adding to his legacy because this is this is this is still the beginning of his journey. He has an end that is nowhere fucking near. Listen, Spencer, we appreciate your time here today. Like, really, truthfully, shout out gang, to gang, you gang, gang, gang. Um, for coming out here. You know, during you know you know during this week, um, you know, especially the preparation. You know, yeah, yeah, you know what I mean? Going right through. Um, and we're honestly hoping nothing but success for y'all. And we're hoping y'all get the win. And we are gonna hold you to coming back when it win or lose. And we can definitely review that damn game if you win. Yeah, mm-hmm. talk about no, it. Hey, Spence, talk about it. The eye in the sky, don't lie, brother. That's a fact. <laughs> <Don't> <laughs> you miss a block, I'm on your ass. <laughs> That's cool. I'm cool with that. Said you about blocking now. <laughs> hey, uh, listen, man, coming soon. BTB uh charity boxing event. Spencer Webb versus De'Aaron Fox. <laughs> Pay your money. Only in America. Hey, only <laughs> in America. If, if I'm being completely honest, you probably don't even remember that shit, but I still got beef with them. <laughs> I ain't oh, it be he like blocked me, though. Shit. He blocked me on Instagram. I was like, you little hoe. Oh, he, well, he, 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 cared he, he cared enough. He cared enough. He cared enough. Fuck it. Oh, don't worry. Oh, yeah. He cared enough to reply. He was sitting there. But he's. I think he's got like a baby mama now, a baby son. But shit, if you if Fuck he's down, gonna start back up. Fuck if him. he's down, if he's down to chunk him in the ring for charity, I one hundred percent, I about that. <laughs> That'd Let's be fun. It. Set it up. Get it. Let's, Let's get it. Let's set it. Get it. Listen. <laughs> oh, we're gonna. This is gonna get real fucking interesting. But listen here, people. You know what it is. This is Black of the Berry. I am Dean. That over there is the Madman Los. Y'all already oh, know man. what time it is down there in the corner. That's bad time. We appreciate you, Spencer Webb, coming on I out here. So. Hey, listen, thanks. shout out to you. Go Ducks. Shout out to Or Yes, Ducks. And go, Ducks. go Ducks. Fuck Oklahoma. <laughs> Let's roll, baby. Roll Peace, love, too. and chicken. Let's forget that. Hey, hey. We out. <laughs> oh, fuck your roll tie. <laughs>